special. I rather think she is. How'd you get on? Oh, ever so well. They ain't half nice, Tom. Expect it'll be a bit of all right then. Yeah, looks like it. Come on. Jen, that's what's the matter with me. I'm silly. <laughs> when will I see you again? Well... What about tomorrow? All right. But it'll have to be later, and I'll probably have Violet with me. I'm meeting her over in Hammersmith. You shouldn't hang around with her. What do you mean? She ain't the sort you should be hanging around with, that's all. What sort's that? Thinks of nothing but boys, that sort. No, she ain't. What time, then? Dunno. About half eight? Right, then. Half eight. I'll meet you at Camden Town. Good night, Tom. That was very enjoyable. Jen, I want to kiss you. Just the one, mind. Good boy. Thanks, Jen. So long. Good night then, madam. Same time tomorrow? Yes, madam. A treasure. Yes, isn't she? Makes up, of course. I noticed that. But then they all do nowadays. What's that pale boy you was walking out with? What pale boy? You know, that pale boy. Tom. That's him. Me walking out with Tom. You go about with him, don't you? Might go about sometimes, but I ain't walking out with him. He's consumptive, ain't he? Tom, of course he ain't. Who told you that? I heard he's inclined that way, that's all. He looks it, doesn't he? Tell you what your trouble is, Vi. You can't think of nothing but boys. So why don't I do what I do with what I've got to work on? You, you're pretty as a picture. Pardon me, moi. Oh, where's y'all? Give me a turn. <laughs> <laughs> was you going anywhere by any chance? Uh, no, we ain't, was you? No. I'm Reginald, commonly known as Rex. Rex, who I say. <laughs> oh, and uh, this is my chum, Andy. Good evening, Andy. So, what would you two be able to say to a little liquid refreshment? All for it. All right, then. Chop, chop. Violet. <laughs> <laughs> Spot. Yeah, straight <laughs> Lovely. Uh, waiter. So, what are you having? What are you having, Jenny? I don't know. Come on, girls, make your minds up. Well, uh, I'll have a Guinness. <laughs> Guinness? <laughs> What's wrong with a Guinness? 
I'll have a port, please, Rex. Thank you very much. Yeah, see me. Uh, you're going to have a port, Andy? Yeah, you sure you won't change your mind? Well, perhaps I'll have a port, too. Four ports, please. Oh, and, um, and you might bring some biscuits. Well, that's such a nice place. Yeah, ain't bad, is it? No, not for Hammersmith. All got to be historical, ain't it? When knights were bold. <laughs> <laughs> I say. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Better not get blotto. We're going on to a dance after. That's what you says. I've got to go. No, you ain't. Yes, I have. I promised to be at Camden Town by half past eight. You ain't, have you? Have you? Yes, I have. I'll have to be off directly I finish this. Oh, don't be so daft. You don't have to be anywhere. Yes, I have. I've got to be somewhere by half past eight. Who is he, then? Never you mind. Some people are funny. Yes, they are. Well, drink that and then see how you feel. We don't want to lose you, you know. Oh. <laughs> it's like Charlie's arm, I know. Why? Still running. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse my dirty hands. They're not dirty. Mm, they get filthy doing what I've been doing. Mucking about with one's car all afternoon. Oh, yeah. That must get you dirty. It does not all. You got a car then? Of course I have. What do you think? Just wondered. Keep meaning to get rid of it, but somehow I never get round to it. You fond of motoring, are you? Oh, yeah, um... Very fun, really. Oh. Especially in the summer months. I'll take you out one of these days. Oh, I'd like that. Waiter? Oh, not for me. Four more ports, please. <laughs> Where do you live? Chiswick. Well, I shall be shortly. In uh, business over there, are you? Not exactly. We're two old ladies. She's in service. Do you know how she sticks it? Pretty girl like you don't want to be in service. Got to live, ain't you? Oh, yeah, you've got to live, but that ain't the way for a beautiful girl like you. I don't see what that's got to do with it. No, no, not for a girl like you. So what would you suggest? Oh, well, you ought to be a model. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what you ought to be. Find me a job, then. I'll find you one, all right? Yeah, I bet. My friend Ned Hall will give you one like a shot. Go on. Yeah, it's my oldest pal, is Ned. Known him since he was in Knickerbockers. He's got four or five shops round here and two up west. What sort of shops? Ladies wear. Well, I shall have to think about it. You certainly should, because you're cut out for it. Why do you keep looking at that clock? I've got to go. Ain't as important as all that, is he? No, he ain't very important. <laughs> what would it consist of, like? Wearing dresses. You'd probably have to look after the customers a bit, but you wouldn't mind that, would you? No, I wouldn't mind that. Yeah, it's a good screw, too, between three and four quid a week. Here's to it. It's very kind of you, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. So, uh, what are you going to do in return for me, eh? Don't know. What do you want? It's not what I want. What have you got to give? Oh, well, that depends. I'll tell you what you can do for me. What's that? Have another glass of port. <laughs> <laughs> That's not so difficult. <laughs> There's a good girl. Don't know about that. Yeah, you're right there. What a little girl, ain't you? Hot little baby straight from Paris. <laughs> what an idea. All tied up in pink ribbon and made for love, eh? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, who's the lucky fella? There ain't none. Ain't there? 